Let's start with installing 7-Zip. Head over to 7-Zip.org. Link is in the description. Now since this is Fallout 4, I assume you have a 64-bit system. But there's a chance that you have an ARM 64-bit system. The quickest way to find out is to type BOUT in your start menu and click ABOUT this PC. If you look into the device specifications, you'll find your system type here. Download the right executable for your system. Open the 7-zip.exe. Control plus J will bring up your downloads tab in your browser if you can't find it and click install and close. We'll set it up after we get the right version of F4SC. You'll need to know what version of Fallout 4 you have. Open your Steam, find your Fallout 4, right click, manage, browse local files. You can hover over your Fallout4.exe to see your game version for a moment. But you can also right click your Fallout4.exe Go to Properties, Details, and in the description, you'll see your game version and file version. If you need to update or downgrade your F4SE, you can do the same with F4SE Loader. Go to Fallout 4 Script Extender on the Nexus Mods page. Go to Files. Expand the files if needed, and match the file version with your game or current F4SE version. Click Manual Download on it and go to your downloads folder with the F4SC file you just downloaded. Right click the Fallout 4 script extender 7-zip file. Go to properties. Make sure you're on the general tab and click change. If 7-zip isn't in the list, click more apps. If it still isn't there, click look for another app on this PC. Go to program files or program files x86 and 7-zip should be at the very top. Open the 7-zip folder, select 7-z-fm and click open. The window will close out, click apply and OK. Now you can open up your F4SC zip file, keep it open and open your Steam if you closed it. Right click Fallout 4, manage, browse local files, now open your F4SC archive. Open the F4SC folder, select all the contents and drag and drop the contents into your Fallout 4 folder. Let it replace any files. And if you're updating or downgrading your F4SE, you just need to delete the .dll of the version you had previously. Now, how to set it up in your mod manager. Vortex modders, go to dashboard and scroll down to the tools section. Since you installed F4SE correctly, the shortcut should automatically be there. But if you want to be sure it's correct, click the dot 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 and remove F4SE until the spot is empty. And if you click the plus sign, you'll see Fallout 4 Script Extender. You can click that and it'll add the F4SE shortcut. Though if you need to add it manually, you installed it wrong or something else is wrong. You can watch this video on how to add the F4SE shortcut manually. And that's how you set up F4SE and Vortex. Mod Organizer 2 Modders, click your drop down. F4SC should be automatically there. If it's not, try restarting MO2. It should be there now. If it's still not there, you didn't install F4SC correctly or something else is wrong. You can watch this video on how to add the F4SC shortcut manually. And that is how you set up F4SC and Mod Organizer 2. Thank you for watching and happy modding.